Hi, uh, I am Bruce. I'm in recovery and this is Recovery Talks. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, codependency. Uh, so much of us, so many of us who are addicts uh, like to run the show. You know, we like to be in control. We like to, you know, act as, uh, well, you know, pages 60 to 64 in the big books of Alcoholics Anonymous, it talks about that director uh, that who wants to play God, you know, that we want to be the director run, running the play, running the whole show, arranging the lights, the scenery, the other, the other actors, and so on, right? Um, the, all that does is cause chaos, right? We want to take others' free will and impose our will on them, right? And that just doesn't work. Um, I know for myself, you know, I was codependent for years, very codependent for years. I, I, I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm completely cured of that, but I mean, it was very important to me always to make sure everybody was happy. Uh, I needed to be the savior of everyone, try to fix things, uh, even at, at my peril, you know, I, I would make sure everyone was taken care of except me. And why? Because I didn't think I mattered. And, uh, you know what? I do matter. I matter just, you matter, I matter. Um, no more or less than anyone else, you know. My spiritual beliefs uh, told me that I needed to uh, put others first, you know. But it, I, I might have had it a little, little mixed up, right? Because it's treat others as you want to be treated, not better, not worse. But I always put myself last, you know, playing the martyr and wanting to, to be that that good benevolent director and uh, instead all I did is made myself unhappy and others because I, I wanted to take their free will and even if I thought my way was better it's, it never is right my way is no better than than anyone else's you know we all have to, I've made the same mistakes that everyone that I'm trying to get others not to you know at times and and I'm sure I, I you know I wish I could have listened to others advice too I mean, codependency is a tough one, eh? Because it's the people pleasers. It's people with good hearts, you know? And, and often we're, you know, as people pleasers, we're trying to, uh, you know, uh, help others that may be takers or the passive aggressives, you know? They always lay, they always lay that little ang angry attitude on us and, and we're forever trying to, to make it better, you know? And, you know, I've learned now it's their stuff and... Yeah, you, know, you know, I've uh, it's, I find people worthy of my help now. You know, I don't expect anything from those people, and so if they want more or they let me down, you know, it, it doesn't matter because I'm doing it f because I feel that's what my higher power wants me to do is to to give back in in a certain way. But there's no expectation, and, you know. Take someone into your house. I take people in all the time, and you know, they steal from you or out they go. That's on their shoulders. It's not mine, you know. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, everyone out there is doing good. If anybody needs to talk, uh, look my email up, and or send me a message. I don't know. This thing's on a few things like YouTube or Facebook or whatever. You need to talk or are struggling in any way uh, I'll get back to you and I'll even give you my number we can we can talk you know you can call me collect no problem anyways I love you all and I, I hope you stay clean another day um, let me your God bless you and this is all my opinion I'm sticking to it you know unless uh, Unless somebody explains to me, you know, how I'm wrong, which happens all the time. For now, that's my opinion, and I, I might not stick to it. Okay, God bless you all, and uh, bye for now.